Hey everybody, it's uh, Jay here with RC in Nature. How you doing? So I have uh, been working on my LMT. I had this old Bigfoot body on uh, one of my stampedes. And uh, I wound up parting out that one stampede. Uh, this is the one that I still got going. But uh, so yeah, I decided I wanted to try and get this Bigfoot body on my LMT because what better body for the LMT than the Bigfoot? And as you can see, I had to do some serious modifications with the uh, body with my Dremel. And I'll just go over kind of what I did to get this body to fit on here. Uh, it was quite an ordeal. All said and, and done, um, I may have to reinforce this, although it is quite solid. This is uh, the LMT body mounts. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you're actually supposed to use those body mounts. Uh, it comes with a package, but if any of you can make any sense of it, maybe you can show me because uh, I had to do a lot of work to get those bo that body mount kit to work. Uh, as you can see, those have been cut and I had to do all kinds of things to get these to hold on here. I used the mounts, I had to cut them down and then do a bunch of mods to get these to fit on. And then there was another thing I had to do to get this to come down past my my uh, bracket here was I just ground out the cage a little bit with my Dremel so that that slides past, pops in, and then this pops into the pins. Aside from that, obviously I had to cut out the back window and into the box to slide it forward enough so that the uh, cage and the body sat parallel enough to the wheels. And it's a smaller body. Uh, mind you, this is technically a 110 scale truck. Uh, it's technically a 110 scale body, although you could easily call that a 18 scale, you know. And, and the body for the LMT is, is bigger. But it looks okay. Like, you can put a standard Bigfoot body on the LMT. It's just a lot of horsing around. Uh, there's probably an easier way to do it. Th those those body mounts probably do work <laughs> some way, uh, but uh, this is the way I got it to work. I, I do think I will probably put one more. I was actually thinking of putting some kind of a reinforcement across the bottom or something, but I'll see how this holds together. I'm just kind of worried that these might bust off. But it is what it is. I'll see. Yeah, they're pretty secure. I had to go up pretty high. So I didn't get a chance to bracket that as far down to the bottom as I would have liked to have. I did get two screws through. But uh, I might even put a zap strap around there just for extra protection. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I was mentioning uh, that I was kind of sick of the son of a digger body. Because, I don't know, it's just too flashy for me and kind of lame. I find it, it's just, you know, when you think of LMT, you think of one thing. And that's that stupid body, the son of a digger or the grave digger body. And I just wanted to do more of a, a pickup truck thing with it. And uh, I have 
done it. And uh, I'm quite happy with how it's all turned out. This is an old body that I pulled all the, the Gorilla tape out. There it is there. And most of the paint, the original paint came out with it. And it kind of gave it a an old body look. You can see where the original blue and red, you can still see some of it. But I just sprayed it green and then I did an under coat of yellow. And that just kind of bleeds through a little bit, the yellow. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, just figured I'd uh, share that with you guys. Okay, so to reiterate uh, what I was saying in regards to how strong I, I feel this, this was, um, I opted to use a longer screw and there's a, a little plastic washer here that was originally there and then I had a couple of little plastic washers that I put in between. You see where that gap is there. I filled that gap and then I put a nut on the end of both of those screws so I went from that screw to this screw two plastic washers to fill that gap and that holds it much more secure now really the only thing that can happen is for this to bust off because it's not going to pull out there's not enough leverage there anymore for it to uh, to pull out of the plastic especially with the nuts on the end so uh, that should make it more secure and uh, yeah that's I think as secure as I'm going to get it. 